Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne is a city in the U.S. state of Indiana in the seat of Allen County, United States. Located in northeastern Indiana, the city is west of the Ohio border on south of the Michigan border. With a population of 253,691 in the 2010 census, it is the second most populous city in Indiana after Indianapolis, and the 75th most populous city in the United States. It is the principal city of the Fort Wayne metropolitan area, consisting of Allen, Wells, and Whitley counties, a combined population of 419,453 as of 2011. Fort Wayne is the cultural and economic center of northeastern Indiana. The city is within a 300 mile, 482.803 kilometers, radius of major population centers, including Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, Detroit, Indianapolis, Louisville, Lexington, and Milwaukee. Fort Wayne was built in 1794 by the United States Army under the direction of American Revolutionary War General Anthony Wayne the last in a series of forts built near the Miami village of Kekyonga. Named in Wayne's honor, the European-American settlement developed at the confluence of the St. Joseph, St. Mary's, and Maumee Rivers as a trading post for pioneers. The village was platted in 1823 and underwent tremendous growth after completion off Wabash and Erie Canal and advent of the railroad. Once a booming manufacturing town located in what became known as the Rust Belt, Fort Wayne's economy in the 21st century is based upon distribution, transportation and logistics, healthcare, professional and business services, leisure and hospitality, and financial services. The city is a center for the defense industry which employs thousands. Fort Wayne was an All-America City Award recipient in 1982, 1998, and 2009. The city also received an Outstanding Achievement City Livability Award by U.S. Conference of Mayors in 1999. This area at the confluence of rivers was long occupied by successive cultures of indigenous peoples. The Miami tribe established its settlement of Kekiong at the confluence of the Maumee, St. Joseph, and St. Mary's Rivers. It was the capital of the Miami Nation and related Algonquian tribes. In 1696, Comte de Frontenac appointed Jean Baptiste Basso, Sieur de Vincennes, as commander of the outpost. The French built Fort Miami in 1697 as part of a group of forts and trading posts built between Quebec and St. Louis. In 1721, a few years after Bissot's death, Fort Miami was replaced by Fort St. Philippe de Miami's. The first census in 1744 recorded a population of approximately 40 Frenchmen and 1,000 Miami. Increasing tension between France and Great Britain developed over control of the territory. In 1760, France ceded the area to Britain after its forces in North America surrendered during the Seven Years' War, known on the North American front as the French and Indian War. In 1763, various Native American nations rebelled against British rule and retook the fort as part of Pontiac's rebellion. The Miami regained control of Kekyonga, ruling it for more than 30 years. In 1790, after the United States achieved independence, President George Washington ordered the United States Army to secure Indiana Territory. Three battles were fought at Kekyonga against Little Turtle and the Miami Confederacy. Miami warriors defeated U.S. forces in the first two battles. General Anthony Wayne led a third expedition, resulting in the destruction of Kekyonga and the start of peace negotiations between Little Turtle and the U.S. After General Wayne refused to negotiate, tribal forces advanced to Fallen Timbers, where they were defeated on August 20, 1794. On October 22, 1794, U.S. forces captured the Wabash Erie Portage from the Miami Confederacy and built Fort Wayne, named in honor of the General PVT BRWN Trousers. The military garrison was discontinued and a federal land office opened to sell land ceded by local Native Americans by the Treaty of St. Mary's in 1819. Platted in 1823 at the Ewing Tavern, the village became an important frontier outpost and was incorporated as the town of Fort Wayne in 1829, with a population of 300. The Wabash and Erie Canal's opening improved travel conditions to the Great Lakes and Mississippi River, exposing Fort Wayne to expanded economic opportunities. The population topped 2000 when the town was incorporated as the city of Fort Wayne on February 22, 1840. Pioneer newspaper man George W. Wood was elected the city's first mayor. Fort Wayne Summit City nickname dates from this period referring to the city's position at the highest elevation along the canal's route. 
As influential as the canal was to the city's earliest development, it quickly became obsolete after briefly competing with the city's first railroad, the Pittsburgh, Fort Wayne, and Chicago Railway, completed in 1854. At the turn of the 20th century, the city's population reached nearly 50,000, attributed to a large influx of German and Irish immigrants. Fort Wayne's urban working class thrived in industrial and railroad related jobs. The city's economy was substantially based on manufacturing, ushering in an era of innovation with several notable inventions and developments coming out of the city over the years, such as gasoline pumps, 1885, the refrigerator, 1913, and in 1972, the first home video game console. A 1913 flood caused seven deaths, left 15,000 homeless, and damaged over 5,500 buildings in the worst natural disaster in the city's history. As the automobile's prevalence grew, Fort Wayne became a fixture on the Lincoln Highway. Aviation arrived in 1919 with the opening of the city's first airport, Smithfield. The airport served as Fort Wayne's primary commercial airfield until Bear Field, now Fort Wayne International Airport was transferred to the city in 1947 after serving as a military base during World War II. Fort Wayne was hit by the Great Depression beginning in 1929, with most factories cutting their workforce. The stock market crash did not discourage plans to build the city's first skyscraper and Indiana's tallest building at the time, the Lincoln Bank Tower. By 1935, the New Deal's WPA put over 7,000 residents back to work through local infrastructure improvements, including the construction of new parks, bridges, viaducts, and a $5.2 million sewage treatment facility. The helped the city prosper once again. Between 1950 and 1955, more than 5,000 homes were built, many in large subdivisions in rural Allen County. In 1950, Fort Wayne's first bypass, Coliseum Boulevard, opened on the north side of the city, followed by the city's first arena, War Memorial Coliseum, bringing new opportunities for suburban expansion. The Coliseum was home to the NBAs from 1952 to 1957. The opening of enclosed shopping malls and the construction of Interstate 69 through rural areas north and west of the city proper further drove the exodus of retail from downtown through the 1960s. According to the Fort Wayne Home Builders Association estimates, more than 80% of new home construction occurred outside the city proper in the 1970s. Like many cities in the Rust Belt, deindustrialization in the 1980s brought urban blight, increased crime, and a decrease in blue-collar manufacturing jobs. Downtown and surrounding neighborhoods continued declining as residents and businesses sprawled further into rural Allen County. A 1982 flood forced an evacuation of 9,000 residents, damaging 2,000 buildings, and costing $56.1 million, 1,982 U.S. dollars, 137 million dollars, 2,015 U.S. dollars. The 1990s marked a turnaround for the city as local leaders focused on crime reduction, economic diversification, and downtown redevelopment. By 1999, Fort Wayne's crime rate decreased to levels not seen since 1974, and the city's economy recovered, with the unemployment rate hovering at 2.4% in 1998. Clearing blighted buildings downtown resulted in new public green spaces, including Headwaters Park which has become the premier community gathering space and centerpiece in the city's $50 million flood control project. Fort Wayne celebrated its bicentennial in 1994. The city continued to concentrate on downtown redevelopment and investment in the 2000s. The decade saw the beginnings of its transformation, with renovations and expansions of the Allen County Public Library, Grand Wayne Convention Center, and Fort Wayne Museum of Art. In 2007, the $130 million Harrison Square development was launched, creating Parkview Field. Suburban growth continued, with the opening of Fort Wayne's first lifestyle center, Jefferson Point, and the half-billion-dollar Parkview Regional Medical Center in 2012. Fort Wayne is in the east-north-central region of the Midwestern United States, in northeastern Indiana, west of Ohio and south of Michigan. According to the 2010 census, Fort Wayne has a total area of, of which, or 99.81%, is land and, or 0.19%, is water. For a regional summit, the city is situated on flat land characterized by little topographical relief, a result of the Wisconsin glaciation episode. Receding glaciers eroded the land, depositing an evenly distributed layer of sediment during the last glacial period. 
The most distinguishable topographical feature is Cedar Creek Canyon, just north of the city proper near Huntertown. The Fort Wayne Moraine follows two of the city's three rivers, the St. Mary's and St. Joseph. The two rivers converge to form the Maumee, which eventually empties into Lake Erie. Land east of the Moraine includes the former Great Black Swamp, a lacustrine plain formed by Glacial Lake Maumee. The Little River flows southwest of Fort Wayne, a tributary of the Wabash River, and remnant of the Maumee Torrent. The city lies along the St. Lawrence Continental Divide which separates the Great Lakes Basin from the Gulf of Mexico watershed. The most important geographical feature of the area is the short distance overland between the Three Rivers system, which eventually flows to the Atlantic, and the Wabash system, which eventually flows to the Gulf of Mexico. This came to be the portage or carrying place, over which travelers could transport their cargoes from one system to the next. This natural crossroads attracted the Native Americans for thousands of years. It later attracted the European explorers and traders and the American pioneer settlers who continued to develop the area as a transportation and communication center. Chief Little Turtle of the Miami Nation expressed its importance eloquently at the Treaty of Greenville in 1795 when he called it that glorious gate, through which all the words of our chiefs had to pass through from north to south and from east to west. Fort Wayne's urban tree canopy is 29% double the state average of 14.5% and above the national average of 27.1%. The canopy is decreasing, notably from development and the emerald ash borer infestation. Fort Wayne has been designated a Tree City USA since 1990. Historically, Fort Wayne has been divided into four unofficial quadrants, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, and Southwest. Calhoun Street divides the Southwest and Southeast while the St. Joseph River divides the northwest and northeast quadrants. The Maumee River separates the northeast and southeast, while portions of the St. Mary's River and Chicago, Fort Wayne and Eastern Railroad separate the northwest and southwest quadrants. Fort Wayne's early 20th century development was influenced by the City Beautiful movement and centered on a park and boulevard plan conceived by urban planner Charles Malford Robinson in 1909 and finalized by landscape architect George Kessler in 1912. The master plan proposed a network of parkways and boulevards connecting the city's three rivers and Spiron Creek to dozens of neighborhoods and parks. Several parks were designed by noted landscape architect Arthur Asa Helshercliffe. Much of the original plan was implemented by 1955. In 2010, the Fort Wayne Park and Boulevard system was listed on the National Register of Historic Places, consisting of 11 public parks, 4 parkways, and 10 boulevards, covering during the 19th century, Fort Wayne was dominated by Greek Revival, Gothic Revival, and Italianate architecture. Examples of Greek Revival architecture remain in the city, with one being the Richardville House, 1827, a National Historic Landmark. Gothic and Gothic Revival architecture can be found in some of the city's most prominent churches, including Trinity English Lutheran Church, 1846, Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, 1860. Trinity Episcopal Church, 1865, and St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church, 1889. Popular early 20th century architectural styles found in the city include Queen Anne, Richardsonian Romanesque, Neoclassical, Colonial Revival, Dutch Colonial Revival, Tudor Revival, Prairie, American Craftsman, American Foursquare, and Art Deco. Richardsonian Romanesque buildings include Fort Wayne City Hall. 1893, and John H. Base Mansion, 1902, each designed by Wing and Mahiran. Notable examples of neoclassical architecture include the Masonic Temple, 1926, and Northside High School, 1927. Bozar, an architectural style closely related to neoclassical, gained popularity during the City Beautiful movement of the 1890s and early 1900s, which is reflected in the Allen County Courthouse, 1902. The Allen County Courthouse is one of two national historic landmarks in the city. The Pennsylvania Railroad Station, also known as Baker Street Station, 1914, was designed in American craftsman style. At the Art Deco style Lincoln Bank Tower was Fort Wayne's first high rise and Indiana's tallest building from 1930 to 1962. The E. Adair Federal Building in the United States Courthouse, 1932 is another example of Art Deco architecture. Williams Woodland Park Historic District includes examples of Queen Anne and Colonial Revival residential homes, while the Forest Park Boulevard Historic District includes Tudor Revival homes.
Buildings Modern and postmodern architecture can be found in buildings constructed during the second half of the 20th century in Fort Wayne. The John D. Haynes House, 1952, was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, while the campus of Concordia Theological Seminary, 1953, was designed by Eero Saarinen. Postmodern architect Michael Graves' first commissions were built in the city, including Hanselman House, 1967, and Snyderman House, 1972, now demolished. Louis Kahn's design for the Arts United Center, 1973, was inspired by a violin in its case. Other notable buildings include Indiana Michigan Power Center, 1982, the tallest building in the city and tallest building in Indiana outside of Indianapolis, at Fort Wayne lies in the humid continental climate zone, Kupin, DFA, experiencing four distinct seasons. The city is located in USDA hardiness zones 5B and 6A. Typically, summers are hot, humid, and wet. Winters are generally cold with moderate snowfall. The average annual precipitation is recorded at Fort Wayne International Airport. During the winter season, snowfall accumulation averages per year. Lake effect snow is not uncommon to their region, but usually appears in the form of light snow flurries. The National Weather Service reports the highest recorded temperature in the city at, most recently on June 28, 2012, and the lowest recorded temperature rate on January 12, 1918. The wettest month on record was June 2015, with a precipitation. The greatest 24-hour rainfall was on August 1, 1926. The snowiest month on record was January 2014, with a snowfall. The greatest calendar day snowfall was on February 28, 1900. Severe weather is not uncommon, particularly in the spring and summer months. The city experiences an average of 39 thunderstorm days and about 10 severe weather days annually. An EF2 tornado struck northern Fort Wayne on May 26, 2001, injuring three and causing damage along the Coliseum Boulevard corridor on a subdivision. Fort Wayne experienced wind gusts in the June 2012 North American derecho, knocking out power to 78,000, uprooting approximately 500 trees, and costing $2.5 million. According to the 2010 census, there were 253,691 people in 113,541 households. The racial makeup of the city is 73.62% white, 15.41% black or African American. 0.37% Native American or Alaska Native, 3.3% Asian, 1.4% Burmese, 0.4% Indian, 0.3% Vietnamese, 0.2% Chinese, 0.2% Filipino, 0.1% Korean, 0.1% Laotian, 0.1% Thai, 0.06% Pacific Islander. 3.72% from other races, and 3.52% from two or more races. 7.96% of the population are Hispanic or Latino of any race. Among the Hispanic population, 6.1% are Mexican, 0.4% Puerto Rican, and 0.3% Guatemalan. Non Hispanic whites were 70.3% of the population in 2010, down from 87.7% in 1970. There were 101,585 households of which 30.1% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 42.3% were married couples living together, 14.8% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.9% had a male householder with no wife present, and 38.0% were non-families. 31.2% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.44 and the average family size was 3.09. The median age in the city was 34.5 years. 26.4% of residents were under the age of 18, 10.2% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 26.5% were from 25 to 44. 24.9% were from 45 to 64, and 12% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.4% male and 51.6% female. Fort Wayne has the largest Burmese American population in the U.S., estimated at 6,000. Burmese refugee settlement and secondary migrants doubled the city's Asian population between 2000 and 2010. 
Fort Wayne is sometimes referred to as the City of Churches, an unofficial moniker dating to the late 19th century when the city was the regional hub of Catholic, Lutheran, and Episcopal faiths. Today, there are 360 churches in the city. 54% of Fort Wayne residents identify as religious, where 16% are Catholic, 9% are Lutheran, 6.5% are Baptist, 5% are Methodist, and 0.14% are Jewish, with 16.5% adhering to other Christian faiths. An increasing religious minority is found among the city's immigrant communities, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Islam. Major churches include the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church and Trinity Episcopal Church. Fort Wayne's Reform Judaism population is served by Congregation Ichduth Vesholem, the oldest Jewish congregation in Indiana, founded in 1848. In 2013, construction began on the first Burmese Muslim mosque to be built worldwide since the mid-1970s. As of December 2012, Four national Christian denominations were headquartered in the city, the American Association of Lutheran Churches, the Fundamental Baptist Fellowship Association, the Missionary Church and the Fellowship of Evangelical Churches. Fort Wayne is the seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend, covering 14 counties in northern Indiana, and the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod Indiana District, encompassing all of Indiana and north-central Kentucky. In 2017, the Fort Wayne metropolitan area had a gross domestic product, GDP, of $25.7 billion. The top four industries were, manufacturing, $8.1 billion, health care, $2.54 billion, retail trade, $1.4 billion, and finance and insurance, $1.3 billion. Government, if it had been a private industry, would have tied for third, generating $1.4 billion. Manufacturing is deeply rooted in Fort Wayne's economic history, dating to the earliest days of the city's growth as an important trade stop along the Wabash and Erie Canal. Railroads, introduced shortly after the canal's arrival, eased travel from Fort Wayne to other booming industrial centers along the Great Lakes, such as Chicago, Detroit, Toledo, and Cleveland. Throughout the early and mid-20th century, manufacturing dominated the city's economic landscape. From 1900 to 1930, Fort Wayne's industrial output expanded by 747 percent, with total production valued at $95 million in 1929, up from $11 million in 1899. The total workforce also increased from 18,000 in 1900 to nearly 50,000 in 1930. Companies that had a significant presence in the city include Dana Holding Corporation, Falstaff Brewing Corporation, Fruhoff Corporation, General Electric, International Harvester. Magnavox, Old Crown Brewing Corporation, and Tokheim, among several others, producing goods such as refrigerators, washing machines, automatic phonographs, meat packing products, televisions, garbage disposals, automotive parts and motors, trailers, gasoline pumps, trucks, beer, tents and awnings. Magnet wire production became an especially vital component to the city's economy. In 1960, Fort Wayne was at the center of the United States magnet wire industry, home to New Haven Wire and Cable Company, Phelps Dodge, Rear Magnet Wire, Superior Essex, and an operation at General Electric, producing nearly 90% of North America's magnet wire. The 1970s and 1980s were times of economic depression in Fort Wayne, when much of the city's manufacturing foundation eroded and the blue-collar workforce shrank. Fort Wayne joined several other cities reeling economically within the Rust Belt. At the same time, General Electric also downsized much of its more than 10,000-person workforce. Amid other area plant closures and downsizing, coupled with the early 1980s recession, the city lost 30,000 jobs and reached a 12.1% unemployment rate. The arrival of General Motors in 1987 helped fill the void from shuttered manufacturers and aided in the area's recovery, employing 3,000 at its Fort Wayne assembly. In 2017, General Motors was the largest manufacturer in the city, employing 4,100 assembling Chevrolet Silverado regular and double cab light and heavy-duty pickup trucks. Through the 1990s and into the 2000s, the city diversified its economy. Manufacturing now employs 16.9% of Allen County's workforce. Other sectors include distribution, transportation, and logistics, 23.1%, healthcare, 17.9%, professional and business services, 12.1%, 
Leisure and Hospitality, 11.1%, and Financial Services, 6.3%. The Leisure and Hospitality sector has especially grown, with 5.8 million visitors spending $545 million in 2013, a 4.3% increase over the previous year. The city is a center for the defense industry, employing thousands of such companies as BAE Systems, 1,150, Harris Corporation, 888, Raytheon Systems, 950, and the Fort Wayne Air National Guard Station, 423. Despite economic diversification, the city was significantly impacted by the Great Recession. According to a report from Pew Research Center, the city lost nearly a quarter of its manufacturing jobs and 11% of its economic status between 2000 and 2014. Economic Innovation Group's 2016 Distressed Communities Index report ranked Fort Wayne among the most unequal large cities in the U.S. in terms of linking economic opportunities to its distressed zip codes. Allen County's labor force was 180,637 with an unemployment rate of 2.5%. Companies based in Fort Wayne include Brotherhood Mutual, Do It Best, Franklin Electric, Frontier Communications, Central Region, Gentique, Indiana Michigan Power, K&K Insurance, MedPro Group, North American Van Lines, Rear Magnet Wire, Steel Dynamics, Sweetwater Sound, and Vera Bradley. Steel Dynamics is the only Fortune 500 company headquartered in the city, ranking 354th. Founded in 1905. Lincoln Financial Group was based in Fort Wayne until its move to suburban Philadelphia in 1999. The company maintains a large presence in the city, employing nearly 2,000. The Embassy Theater is a 2,471-seat performing arts theater which hosts over 200,000 patrons annually. Since its founding in 1944, the Fort Wayne Philharmonic Orchestra has often been hosted at the Embassy. The University of St. Francis Robert Goldstein Performing Arts Center, located on its downtown campus, contains a 2,086-seat auditorium. Since its establishment in 2010, the Cultural District has been home to several of the city's cultural institutions, including the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, our Center for Arts and Culture, Arts United Center, and Hall Community Arts Center. Arts United Center houses the Fort Wayne Civic Theater, Fort Wayne Dance Collective, and Fort Wayne New Theater. Our Center for Arts and Culture houses Fort Wayne Ballet. Hall Community Arts Center houses Cinema Center, an independent film venue. Though used mainly for exhibitions and conventions, the Grand Wayne Convention Center hosts dance and choir productions, such as the annual Foundation for Art and Music in Education, FAME, Northeast Festival. Feelinger Theater, a 2,500 seat amphitheater in Frank Park hosts seasonal acts and outdoor concerts during warmer months. Located west of downtown, Arena Dinner Theater is a non-profit community arts corporation with a focus on live theater production, annually hosting seven full-length theatrical productions. The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo has been lauded as one of the nation's foremost zoos. Covering and containing 1,000 animals of 200 different species, the zoo is the largest regional attraction regularly drawing over 500,000 visitors annually. The Feelinger Fryman Botanical Conservatory Gardens cover, displaying over 1,200 plants of 502 different species and 72 types of cacti. Science Central, an interactive science center, contains permanent displays and temporary exhibits, drawing 130,000 visitors annually. Established in 1921, the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, FLOA is accredited by the American Alliance of Museums, specializing in the collection and exhibition of American art. The FMOA annually receives 100,000 visitors. The History Center, located in Fort Wayne's Old City Hall, manages a collection of more than 23,000 artifacts recalling the region's history. The center is overseen by the Allen County Fort Wayne Historical Society, which maintains the Richardville House, one of two national historic landmarks in the city. Historic Fort Wayne a replica of the 1815 fortification, hosts scheduled tours and historical reenactments throughout the year. Other cultural museums include the African African American Historical Museum, Fort Wayne Firefighters Museum, Greater Fort Wayne Aviation Museum, and Bearfield Heritage Air Park.
The Allen County Public Library's Fred J. Reynolds Historical Genealogy Department is the second largest genealogy collection in North America. The collection contains 350,000 printed volumes and 513,000 items of microfilm and microfiche. The city hosts a variety of cultural festivals and events annually. Festivals commemorating ethnic food, dance, music, and art include German Fest, Greek Festival, and Japanese Cherry Blossom Festival. Initiated in 1997, Fort Wayne Pride celebrates Northeast Indiana's LGBTQ community. Barbecue Rib Fest showcases barbecue rib cooks and live entertainment, attracting 40,000 visitors annually. Fort 4 Fitness is a certified half marathon, run slash walk, and health fair. Over 9,000 participated in the 2011 half marathon. In 2012, Fort 4 Fitness debuted a spring cycle, Bike the Fort which included three bicycling tours with over 1,000 participants. Holiday Fest begins with the Night of Lights on Thanksgiving Eve, with the lighting of the PNC Santa and Reindeer, Wells Fargo Holiday Display, and Indiana-Michigan Power Christmas Wreath, ending with a fireworks finale at Parkview Field. The largest annual events in the city are the Johnny Appleseed Festival and the Three Rivers Festival. The Johnny Appleseed Festival draws 300,000 visitors. The festival is held at Johnny Appleseed Park, where American folklore legend John Chapman is believed to be buried. Apple themed cuisine, crafts, and historical demonstrations recalling 19th century American pioneering are among some of the festival's events. Three Rivers Festival, a celebration of Fort Wayne, spans nine days each July, attracting 400,000 visitors. Three Rivers features over 200 events, including a parade, midway, hot dog eating contest, bed race raft race, arts fair, and fireworks spectacular. Other annual events include the Allen County Fair, Vols Music Festival, National Soccer Festival, and the Vera Bradley Outlet Sale. Fort Wayne is home to three minor league sports franchises, the ECHL's Fort Wayne Comets, the Midwest League's Fort Wayne Tin Caps, and the NBA G League's Fort Wayne Madans who are owned and operated by their parent club. The Indiana Pacers. Fort Wayne also hosts the Fort Wayne Derby Girls of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association Division II. These teams compete at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum. Parkview Field is home to the Tin Caps. Intercollegiate sports in the city include the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons, representing Purdue University Fort Wayne, PFW, in the NCAA's Division I Summit League, and Nia Schools Indiana Tech. Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference, and University of St. Francis Crossroads League and Mid-States Football Association. The Mastodons had represented Indiana University, Purdue University Fort Wayne, IPFW, prior to its 2018 split into two separate institutions, see below, and from 2016 to 2018 were branded as the Fort Wayne Mastodons, but the athletic brand was changed to Purdue Fort Wayne shortly before the split took effect. The city has been home to other professional sports franchises, including the National Basketball Association's Fort Wayne Pistons, which moved to Detroit in 1957, the Fort Wayne Daisies of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, and the Fort Wayne Kekiongas of the National Association of Professional Baseball Players, precursor to Major League Baseball. Some notable events in sports history occurred in Fort Wayne. On June 2, 1883, Fort Wayne hosted the Quincy Professionals for one of the first lighted evening baseball games ever recorded. Fort Wayne is also credited as the birthplace of the NBA, as Pistons coach Carl Bennett brokered the merger of the Bon and Blue in 1948 from his Alexander Street home. On March 10, 1961, Wilt Chamberlain became the first player in the NBA to reach 3,000 points in a single season while competing at the War Memorial Coliseum. Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation maintains 86 public parks totaling. Three public and 20 private golf courses are located in Allen County. Frank Park is the most extensive city park, covering. Frank is home to the Feelinger Theater, Showflake, and the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Other notable parks include Johnny Appleseed Park, home to a campground and John Chapman's grave, and McCulloch Park, home to Samuel Bigger's grave. Feelinger Fryman Botanical Conservatory, Headwaters Park. Lawton Skate Park, and historic Fort Wayne are located downtown. Hirschtown Reservoir, near Gravel, is the largest body of water in Allen County and is popular with water sports enthusiasts for sailing and fishing. Some 300 lakes are located within of the city. Located downtown along the St. Mary's River, Fort Wayne Outfitters offers canoe, kayak, 
stand-up paddle board, and pontoon boat rentals for recreation along the three rivers. Starting in the 1970s, the city developed a system of recreational trails along the riverbanks, known as the River Greenway, with the aim of beautifying the riverfronts and promoting active lifestyles for residents. The River Greenway was designated a National Recreation Trail in 2009. As of 2018, the River Greenway had expanded with additional trails to encompass nearly throughout the city and county, with about 550,000 annual users. With the expansion of trails in recent years, cycling has become an emerging mode of transportation for residents. In 2009, the city's first bicycle lanes were established with the installation of 250 bike parking places. In 2016, Fort Wayne was designated a bronze-level bicycle-friendly community by the League of American Bicyclists. According to the Trust for Public Land's 2017 Park Score Index, some 56% of Fort Wayne residents are underserved. Fort Wayne has a mayor-council government. The mayor, city clerk, and city council members serve four-year terms. Fort Wayne's mayor is Tom Henry, a Democrat, who was elected in 2007. Henry succeeded Democrat Graham Richard who chose not to run for re-election after two terms as mayor. Henry was re-elected to a third term in 2015. Carl Ben Demert was appointed deputy mayor in 2013. Lana Kiesling was elected city clerk in 2015. Fort Wayne City Council has nine elected members, one representative from each of the city's six council districts and three at-large members, serving four-year terms. The city is represented in the Indiana General Assembly by three Senate districts and seven House districts. Fort Wayne state senators include Dennis Cruz 14th District, Liz Brown, 15th, and David Long, 16th. Representatives include Dan Leonard, 50th District, Ben Smaltz, 52nd, Phil Giacinta, 80th, Martin Carbaugh, 81st, Christopher Judy, 83rd, Bob Morris, 84th, and Dave Heine, 85th. Federally, Fort Wayne is part of Indiana's 3rd Congressional District, represented by Republican Jim Banks, a position he has held since 2016. Under the unique off provision of Indiana law, Fort Wayne would have automatically consolidated with Allen County when its population exceeded 250,000, previously the minimum population for a first-class city in Indiana. Fort Wayne nearly met the state requirements for first-class city designation on January 1. 2006 when of neighboring Aboite Township, and a small section of Wayne Township, including 25,094 people were annexed. However, a 2004 legislative change raised the population threshold for first-class status from 250,000 to 600,000, which ensured Indianapolis status as the only first-class city in Indiana. Fort Wayne Z. Ross Adair Federal Building and U.S. Courthouse houses the United States District Court for the Northern District of Indiana which was authorized by Congress in 1928. Municipal and state laws are enforced by the Fort Wayne Police Department, an organization of 460 officers. In 2006, Fort Wayne's crime rate was 5,104.1 per 100,000 people, slightly above the national average of 4,479.3. There were 18 murders, 404 robberies, and 2,128 burglaries in 2006. Steve Reed was appointed to the position of police chief in 2016. In 2014, former police chief Rusty York was appointed to the position of director of public safety. York previously served as police chief from 2000 to 2014. As of 2010, the Fort Wayne Fire Department includes 375 uniformed firefighters and 18 fire stations. Eric Leahy was appointed fire chief in 2014. Fort Wayne Community Schools, FWCS, is the largest public school district in Indiana, enrolling 30,981 students as of the 2013-2014 academic year. FWCS operate 51 facilities, including 31 elementary schools, 10 middle schools, and 5 high schools. The student body is diverse, with 75 spoken languages in the district. East Allen County Schools, EACS operate 20 schools, with a total enrollment of 9,114. Northwest Allen County Schools, NACS, operate seven elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school, with a total enrollment of 6,853. Southwest Allen County Schools, SACS, operate six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school, with a total enrollment of 6,995. 
Private primary and secondary education is offered largely through Lutheran schools of Indiana and the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend. Amish Parochial Schools of Indiana has schools through 8th grade in rural eastern Allen County. Fort Wayne hosts institutions affiliated with both of Indiana's major state university systems. Indiana University Fort Wayne, IU Fort Wayne, and Purdue University Fort Wayne, PFW, were established in July 2018 after the dissolution of Indiana University, Purdue University Fort Wayne, IPFW, which had enrolled over 13,000 students prior to its closure and was the state's fifth largest public university. IPFW's degree programs in health sciences are now operated by IU Fort Wayne, as such, that institution is now home to the Fort Wayne Center for Medical Education, a branch of the Indiana University School of Medicine. All remaining IPFW degree programs were taken over by PFW. Ivy Tech Community College of Indiana also contains two campuses in the city. Three private universities are located in the city, including Concordia Theological Seminary, Indiana Institute of Technology, and the University of St. Francis. Private universities with regional branches in Fort Wayne include Crossroads Bible College, Grace College, and Theological Seminary, Huntington University, Indiana Wesleyan University, Manchester University College of Pharmacy, and Trine University. For-profit institutions include Harrison College and International Business College. Composed of 14 branches, the Allen County Public Library is among the 20 largest public libraries in the U.S., and ranks 89th factoring in academic libraries, with 3.4 million volumes. The library's foundation is also among the nation's largest, with $14 million in assets. The entire library system underwent an $84.1 million overhaul from 2002 to 2007. In 2009, over 7.4 million materials were borrowed by patrons, with over 3 million visits made throughout the library system. Major broadcasting network affiliates include Wayne TV, CBS, WPTA TV, ABC slash NBC, Wise TV, CW, WFFT TV, Fox, and WFWA TV, PBS, Northeast Indian ASPS member station. Religious broadcasters include WIM and WO7CL. Access Fort Wayne maintains Fort Wayne and Allen County's public access capabilities serving from the Allen County Public Library. Two national public radio stations are based in the city, WBNI and Boy with the new Wealth Community Radio Station transmitting from the Allen County Public Library. Fort Wayne is served by two primary newspapers, the Journal Gazette and Pulitzer Prize-winning News Sentinel. The two dailies have separate editorial departments, but under a joint operating agreement, printing, advertising, and circulation are handled by Fort Wayne Newspapers Incorporated. The New Sentinel announced that it would cease printing operations in favor of digital publishing in August 2017. Fort Wayne includes two municipal airports, both managed by the Fort Wayne Allen County Airport Authority. Fort Wayne International Airport, FWA, is the city's primary commercial airport, with five airlines offering direct service to 13 domestic connections. The airport is Indiana's second busiest, with over 350,000 passenger employments in 2015. Fort Wayne International is also home to the 122D Fighter Wings Fort Wayne Air National Guard Station. Smith Field, in northern Fort Wayne, is used primarily for general aviation. Fort Wayne is served by a single interstate, Interstate 69, along with an auxiliary beltway, Interstate 469. Once the State Road 37 Expressway between Bloomington and Martinsville is completed in 2018, filling a gap in I-69 that exists south of Indianapolis, the road will run south to Evansville. It currently runs north to the Canada-United States border at Port Huron, Michigan. In the coming years, I-69 will extend to the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas, with branches ending in Laredo, Farr, and Brownsville. Four U.S. routes bisect the city, including U.S. 24. U.S. 27, U.S. 30, and U.S. 33. Five Indiana State Roads also meet in the city, including State Road 1, State Road 3, State Road 14, State Road 37, and State Road 930. Airport Expressway, a four-lane divided highway, links Fort Wayne International Airport directly to I-69. About 85% of residents commute alone by personal vehicle, while another 8% carpool. Unlike most cities comparable to its size, Fort Wayne does not have an urban freeway system. 
1946, planners proposed a $27 million federally funded freeway, crossing east-west and north-south through downtown. Opponents successfully campaigned against the proposal, objecting to the demolition of nearly 1,500 homes at the time of the post-World War II housing shortage, while playing on fears that the project would force displaced minorities into white neighborhoods. In 1947, Fort Wayne residents voted down the referendum that would have allowed for its construction, dubbed the Anthony Wayne Parkway. Beginning in 1962, construction commenced for I-69 in suburban Fort Wayne. The I-469 Beltway around the southern and eastern fringes of Fort Wayne and New Haven was constructed between 1988 and 1995 as the largest public works project in Allen County history, at $207 million. Amtrak's Capital Limited, Chicago, Toledo, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., and Amtrak's Lakeshore Limited, Chicago, Toledo, Cleveland, Buffalo, Albany, split to Boston and to New York City are the closest passenger rail services to Fort Wayne, located north at Waterloo Station. There has been a movement to bring direct passenger rail service back in the form of Amtrak or high-speed rail service. In 2013, a feasibility study was published outlining the impacts of a proposed Columbus, Fort Wayne, Chicago high-speed rail corridor. At the route would cost $1.29 billion and generate some $7.1 billion in economic benefits to the region. Freight service is provided by a Class I railroad, Norfolk Southern, and two Class III railroads, CSX Transportation. Fort Wayne is headquarters and main operations hub of Norfolk Southern's Triple Crown Services subsidiary, the largest truckload shipper in the U.S. Fort Wayne's mass transit system is managed by the Fort Wayne Public Transportation Corporation, CityLink, providing 12 bus routes through the cities of Fort Wayne and New Haven by a downtown central station. Campus Link debuted in 2009 as a free shuttle service for students, faculty, and general public traveling between Ivy Tech's Coliseum and North Campuses, IPFW and its student housing on the Waterfield Campus, and shopping in residential areas. MedLink debuted in 2013 connecting Parkview Regional Medical Center with Parkview Health's Randalia Campus. Despite annual ridership of 2.2 million, less than 1% of residents commute by public transportation. Fort Wayne is served by two intercity bus providers Greyhound Lines, Indianapolis, Toledo, Detroit, and Lakefront Lines, Chicago, Columbus, Akron. In 2016, the city introduced its first bike-sharing program, including five stations and 25 bicycles. Fort Wayne is served by 10 medical centers belonging to one of two regional health care providers in the city, Parkview Health System and Lutheran Health Network. Notable hospitals include DuPont Hospital, Lutheran Hospital of Indiana, Parkview Regional Medical Center, Parkview Hospital Randalia, and St. Joseph Hospital. Over 1,600 patient beds are available throughout the city's health care system. Both health care systems were the city's first and second largest employers, respectively, and contribute to a total health care workforce in Allen County of 34,000. VA Northern Indiana Healthcare Systems Fort Wayne Campus provides medical services through the Department of Veterans Affairs. City Utilities is the largest municipally owned water utility in Indiana, supplying residents with of water per day via the Three Rivers Water Filtration Plant and St. Joseph River. Sanitary sewer treatment is also managed by City Utilities. The City of Fort Wayne offers full curbside recycling and solid waste collection services for residents presently contracted through Republic Services. Electricity is provided by Indiana Michigan Power, a subsidiary of American Electric Power, while natural gas is supplied by Northern Indiana Public Service Company, NIPSCO, a subsidiary of All Tier 1 networks and several additional telecommunications service providers cover the Fort Wayne rate area. Fort Wayne has four sister cities as designated by Sister Cities International. Friendship City Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.